Florida family upset after son can't get disability accommodations at Disney World. WPIX New York C. Ty. NY. Thousands of people visit Disney World every day, but one Tampa Bay family said their experience has been changed after Disney's new disability pass rules. Below are your comments. It's unfortunate that the selfish actions of others has caused the parks to become so restrictive in providing accommodations for those in need. It's something we see everywhere, people who take their emotional support pets claiming they are esser vice animals because they bought a vest off Etsy, or the huge number of people on every Southwest FL I'd that have disabilities and have to board first, yet have no problems. I had traveled in a family group with my mother-in-law in a wheelchair or scooter to Disney. I want sugarcoat it, it's difficult for the entire group. Navigating all the things entailed in a trip requires accommodating their needs. It was many years ago, but Disney was fantastic. When we got to a ride, we were able in many instances at Magic Kingdom to enter through the exit NTR. Ants for her onto the ride. Motion ride. Coasters, it didn't matter. At 80 plus, she wouldn't let anything stop her. At other parks, we would go through the regular line but they would stop the ride to allow her to get O.N. Fast forward to the present. If you need accommodations, you need a doctor's note, and you have to apply for a permit through an O.U.T. side company. Provide ID and a photo. Once they approve it you then have to contact the park. They then call you. This is how we had to do it for Universal Studios. To see if and how you can be accommodated. Only then are you given the assistance you need. All of this is because of people selfishly abusing the system. I have a fully feeding tube dependent ASD3 child. There is zero value in taking a child prone to overstimulation to Disney. The entitlement wrapped in a shroud of disability. I'm sorry if you are going to Disney regularly you are living a good life. Tickets not cheap. This comfortable financial situation means going to Disney is a choice not a once-in-a-lifetime XP. Ryan's. So why is the mom taking a kid that can't be overstimulated? Take the ticket money and take your kid to a more appropriate outing he can enjoy and not vomit. There is no unalienable right to going to Disney whenever you want. I have a special needs child and there are places where I expect accommodations and places that it whoa. Old seem a stretch to expect accommodations. If your child is able to traverse Disney, you can wait with others. If you are able to time meds, you can time feeding. It would seem to me that mom could have anticipated the wait and fed the child in the morning. Even for a special needs mom, this seems a stretch. I hope all those adults of Disney on TikTok are proud of themselves for telling people how to fake D. Is abilities to get a DOS pass. Both my kids have developmental disabilities and use the DOS Pass. It's what makes Disney possible. But I would gladly wait in line if it meant my kids didn't have disabilities. P. 
people who fake being disabled to skip a line are sick, sad human beings and now families like this. Woman and her family can't get the accommodations they need. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.